Hi everyone, it's Mark here again. I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network. And this is the fun bit for me. This is where I get to meet our full members and put a name to a face. Um, it's been a while since uh, Jay joined us, so we haven't had, had a chance to do it as quickly as we'd like, but I'm delighted to be joined by Jay Mystery of Mystery Music and Entertainment um, for our sort of interview call, which is great. So this is a, a, a great opportunity for me to introduce you to Jay, because I've had the pleasure of meeting him twice now. You haven't, so this is the icebreaker. So cool. wherever this appears, um, <clears throat> we'll have some links and images and videos dotted around wherever you find this video. So Jay, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. Pleasure. Uh, remind me where you are. Uh, London. I'm in London. Yep. Yep. Whereabouts yep. in London? So more North London area. Excellent. Uh, so, yep. 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 Cool. So, I, and you've had a busy summer, so I should explain my understanding of the work that you do at Mystery Music is, and you're, I think you, you're probably the largest provider of Indian classical music and Bollywood live entertainment in the UK now. Would that be fair? Um, um, that can be fair. I'm not 100% sure if that's 100% accurate, but that is fair. Yeah. yeah. So we, yes, we do supply... Um, uh, Bollywood acts and uh, live Indian classical music to the events industry and wedding industry, yeah, both. Brilliant. Well, somebody once said, I'm not saying I'm the best, but I'm in a short list of one. <laughs> I can vouch for that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and, I, and you've been winning awards left, right and centre, apparently, as well. Tell me. Uh, we haven't won an award for a couple of years now, but uh, I think... Um, um, some of the awards that we've done is with the um, so well, we're part of the Association of British Wedding Businesses, uh, one of the founding members. Um, we're part of the Musicians Union and we're part of the Arts Council as well. We're quite licensed by both of those organizations. Uh, 2014, we won the uh, Wedding Experts Awards, we've also won uh, Enterprise Awards. Um, we're getting there. Uh, I'm not really too sure what else I can say, but we but yeah. we get we can always everyone can have more um awards under their belt, can't they? You know they can. So how many in your team, your management team, your your core team at the moment? Okay, so the business is run online. Okay, so um it, it's like an agency. So uh, if, if you're a client or if you're getting married, you could be a bride and groom, and and you want to make an inquiry, it will come through the website. I will deal with that inquiry, give you a call understand a little bit more about what you're doing, what kind of event it is, and what kind of musicians that you require. I'll recommend the best thing for it. And if you're happy with you're happy with the quotation, I'll organize the musicians and send them out to your event. And does it work in the same way for a corporate inquiry, for a, a corporate event or a... Yeah, I mean, things, Mark, have now changed. Everything is normally done on Zoom or like online video calling at the moment uh, or, or through Teams where they're explaining things, they'll do a site survey online now. It just saves us going all the way down into the venue. Um, sometimes corporate venues uh, will give us the address or tell us where the venue is. And we'll do our ground search uh, about the actual hotel or the venue itself, what, what kind of capacity is. So, yeah, we would help them probably online, to be honest. We don't yeah. need to go on a face-to-face -face meeting unless it's a very, 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 very large corporate function that needs us to be there to do a complete site survey. Right. And I, I read about, some, you're quite supportive of, of good causes and charitable institutions, aren't you, as an organisation? Yes, yes. So I also uh, operate a, a drumming school for children, uh, have been for the last 24 years, and that drumming school is called Door to Door, and, and I'm one of the founders of that. It's giving back to the community. So I would take out all these students um, to perform for London Marathon, for an example, uh, for Cancer Research, Diabetes UK, and other charitable trusts that we help to raise money for. And is that Tabla or is it broader? Uh, that's um, uh, the Dool, the D-H-O-L, the big drumming, Dool drumming. Um, uh, it, it's quite famous here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's used for a lot of processions um, and uh, marches and um, all, all that kind of thing, you know. It's good yeah. for stage spots, yeah. That's great. So this is that's wonderful. So um, anyone who wants to reach you can follow the links where this video appears. Um, and if you've got any videos that I can embed, you'll find those 
elsewhere on this profile. So thanks for that, Jay. But this That's is right. where we have a bit of fun. It's the icebreaker. Um, so I should point out to everyone that Jay has had very little, if any, warning about what's coming. Um, yes, thanks. <laughs> I love, I love to, yeah, thanks, Mark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love doing this. Um, I'm going to paint a picture of you through a story based on your answers. Um, okay. And it's it's quite fun. Um, so we'll see how it goes. OK. All right. Yeah. Uh, there are no wrong answers. You can throw it back at me if you wish. Um, and it, but it, it always produces an anecdote and a surprise in my experience. So I'm sure it will. So my first question for you, Jay, is do you have a favorite building? Uh, around the world? Anywhere. Around Anywhere. Uh, for a favorite building? What a question. Um... Or one that leaps to mind. Oh God, um, iconic, goodness me. I have traveled a bit, but to try to remember them is quite difficult. Um, I'll probably say the Eiffel Tower at the moment. I can't think of any other. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I've seen some images recently of that being partly built. It looks really weird, you know, and, and yeah. these steeple jacks climbing all over there with no safety wires and things, amazing. Many years ago. Yeah. Okay, so I've got you sitting um, on the grass there, looking up at the um, the Eiffel Tower in all its glory. Um, now, what about a favourite book? A favourite book? Um, goodness me. Again, or one that leaps to mind? Oh, God. Um... It's cruel, I know. I've given you no warning of this. No warning at all. <laughs> but a favourite book? Um, I don't, I'm not sure, actually, to be honest with you. Um, you've put me on a spot here, Mark. I could give you a, one of my favourite books, if that, if you wish. OK, go on. I'm going to give... Uh, I've been giving a gift out recently. It's a book called Be More Pirate okay. by Sam Conniff. And I'll give it to you. Um, I'll pop it in the chat so that you can grab a coffee um it's a wonderful book it's a it's a romp through the golden age of piracy between 1618 right. and 1720 right and it's uh, everything we think we know about pirates was taught to us by either Walt Disney or Robert Louis Stevenson and this book uh, dispels those myths um they 1500 of them kept four national navies on the run for 40 years right they did that by scaling not growing Right, um, and they uh, they never nobody ever walked the plank. That's, yeah, that's an invention. They created okay. the welfare state, and they've created the the world's first um, globally recognized logo as well. Uh -huh. so, and then it teaches you how to apply the principles of causing good trouble in your business life. So I, I'm hoping I hope you'll enjoy that. I'll I'll share it with you. So there you are, yeah. you're sitting in front of the Eiffel Tower and you've got a copy of Be More Pirate by Sam Conniff on your lap <laughs> in the sunshine. Okay. Okay. Um so, now um do you have a favorite dancer, dance group or dance style? So I've always loved the salsa dancing um uh, okay but uh um, um i think d dance wise it um i think it probably would have been michael jackson in, in the way that he was dance formatted you know all that kind of uh, dance style yeah uh, but uh salsa is, is is probably one of my best dance yeah it's unusual isn't it i i had some lessons as well my wife and i uh, that's pretty much all we can do on a dance floor these days um but it, <laughs> It's the guy who leads. You yeah. know, I, we used to go to a salsa dance class in Mor uh, Morgate in London after work when we were both working in London. Right. And there was this guy there, and he was probably about the shape of Jack Black, but probably a bit wider and a bit shorter. Um, he had a queue of statuesque model-like girls waiting to dance with him. Right. And it wasn't because he was an attractive guy. He was a lovely guy, but he wasn't particularly attractive. But yeah. he could make them look so good, so just good, by, just by leading yeah. them, just by leading them properly, and it was it's correct. amazing. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I've str I've struggled, you know, but, but I love oh. the, the the great thing about salsa events is that you you're encouraged to dance with anyone who asks you, correct, um, and that's wonderful because it for my wife that was great because she was dancing with people who knew how to lead, 
Yeah. Um, and, you just and need it, someone it, to lead, didn't you? Really? You do. Yeah. It was, I oh, found yeah. it. I found it quite difficult because I was having girls were asking me to dance who were clearly much much better than me, and they were, and I wasn't leading them properly. It's it's a real it's a real challenge. But <laughs> right, you can have you can have salsa. So. <laughs> And I might change the country now because this is this is an interesting one. I want you to imagine, so we might be leaving the Eiffel Tower. I Good. want you to imagine that you've been given a grant to go and study music and culture and entertainment in any other country in the world that you choose, apart right. from the one in which you live now. Right. They're going to pay you for a year, all expenses paid. They'd like you to come back and do a presentation about a certain country's approach to arts and culture yeah yeah where are you off to entirely up to you if i'm looking at diversity and multicultural then i will be looking at india and that's okay. not saying because i'm an indian but i'm just saying because of india because india's got a lot of multicultural entertainment there and it's very very much diverse and it holds the whole world there just as well as england does yeah music Okay, that's great. So I've now moved you to in in you've flown for you've been in Paris with your book, <laughs> um, uh, watching salsa. People are they're dancing under the Eiffel Tower in the summer. Okay, of course. And you've jumped on a plane and you're now back in India. Um, now you've been told that you've got a host organisation that you're going to be looked after by there while you do this year of research. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they want to know uh, if you're keen on sport and if so, and if you could go and see any kind of sports, yeah. night, what would you go and watch? Cricket. It doesn't have to be an Indian sport. Cricket. You've chosen an Indian sport. <laughs> well, it's not an Indian sport, actually. It's British. It's, it's a British sport, <laughs> yes. But it's we... a British sport, but dominated more and more in India because it's a national, it's a national game. Yeah. yeah, but it's a British yeah. sport. <laughs> What other way do you want me to answer that? <laughs> no, that's perfect, that's perfectly fine. Um, right, so right. I've met you the, ne the next morning and they're taking you to watch a game of cricket. That reminds me of um, a, a quote by Groucho Marx. You may have heard it. He was invited to Lords to watch a cricket match. Um, and sort of 90 minutes in, somebody went over to him and said, are you enjoying it? He said, oh, it's great. When does it start? <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know. It's true. I know, and people have often said to you know American friends have said, "How can you, how can you have a game that can last five days and be a draw?" Correct, <laughs> correct, correct, correct. But one the rules, love it. But, it, but but it's not like football, is it? It's over and done with within ninety minutes on a good game if they yeah. win. Yeah, yeah. Cricket, cricket's not like that. You need time and patience. We're we've got the World Cup happening at the moment, haven't we? I don't think we're doing very well. Who's going to win? Are you watching? I haven't followed it to the to the max as much as I would love to do that. Uh, I've, I've heard the news. Mm. Uh, I don't know who's on the top of the league at the moment. I, I have no idea who's on semi-finals. I think the semi-finals are this weekend, as far as I know. Yeah, we'll have to have a look. But I should think yeah. India are still in the frame. So, I think so. I, I think, think so. so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're 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 back in India and you're doing your research study. Um, now, one of the conditions of the funding for this is that you are an experiment for them as well. Okay. And they, they're going to limit you to listening to one genre of music while you're there for a year. Only one genre, one type of music. What What's it going to be? I think that would be Indo Jazz. Indian Jazz? Indo Jazz. Indo Jazz. Yeah, so it would be, it'd be a, 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 um, a combination of, yeah, Indian... Um, but it would be jazz as well. So I have the jazz influence for the drummer, acoustic drummer, sax player, maybe some trombones in there, and some Indian classical to to uh, to combine with it. Nice. Yeah. Who's who's the um? Is it who's the the, the Indian classical composer Dunfield? Is it A H Raman? Uh, A R Raman. A R Raman. Raman. Yeah. There's yeah. some wonderful uh, production work stuff on. Yeah, on on he did. Um, I think he did. He do Slum Dog, the, the soundtrack. Yeah, he Dog did the music there. production for Slum Dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, he came in once and we played some of his music. It was it oh was, okay, it was fantastic. Yeah, really good, um, wonderful stuff. 
Um, and, nice, and I think he worked with a, a, an amazing Indian bass player called Mahini Ray or Mahini. She's, I, I must send you the, the some videos. Yes. Incredible player. Send it over to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I will. There. Yeah. So there you are. You've been under the Eiffel Tower in the sunshine watching people salsa oh, dance while you read your book by Sam Conniff. Um, <laughs> you've got on the You've what got on a plane, you're now in India, studying culture in India, and the first day off, you've got a day off, and it's, you've, they've taken you to watch cricket, which is great, and it, it, on your headphones, you've got some Indo jazz, there we go, so that's you. Now, they are, they, they've they asked if you'd like to go and see an art gallery, um, and they can they have this magical art gallery in which they can fill with all of the works by any artist, okay? Mm -hmm um in my dream world that i've created for you right of course yeah uh, but you can only choose one artist so if you were going to walk through a gallery of visual art or sculpture um but it can only be one artist on the wall who might you choose oh god i'm not good at these these, these uh gallery things um good question I've I've no idea actually to be honest. Okay. Um. So we've we in the past we've had Picasso, Banksy, um, Mondrian, various oh, people. Yeah. yeah. So we, I'll give you a mixture of those. Right. Because uh, I know you're a, a uh, you're a performing arts specialist rather than a visual arts specialist. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 We'll take we'll take that. So you can have a nice mix. There we go. Um, okay. They've also said that they've got a magical theatre that can put on any play or musical. Yeah. To, at the drop of a hat. So do you have a favourite play or musical that you'd like to see with your Indian colleagues? It it can be anything you like. Mark, you've chosen the questions quite well today, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Artist-wise, as a musical, it, it doesn't need to be a, something you've seen. It could be something that's on, perhaps that you you'd like to see if you could that you haven't done. Um, West End show or a Shakespeare play. What might you suggest? Um, yes, yeah, so something like a sh uh, sh Shakespeare play really would be nice to 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 get some like um, Indo fusion music in there. Yeah. I can, yeah, because you'd have that on your headphones still. Because you, you've got to listen to that. That's right. Okay, you can have some shakes. <laughs> That's okay. good. So you're still in India, um, and there's a magical cinema next door, um, and they've said tomorrow night we're going to go and see a film, um, and you can have whatever you like. Um, so do you have a favourite film, or one that you find yourself watching again and again? Uh, I think one of my favourites was Godfather. Mm. That wasn't that one where the sequel was considered better than the original. It doesn't it doesn't often happen. No. Apparently Godfather 2 was did better than than it the did. first. Godfather 2 did do better, yeah. 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 That, that's probably one Excellent. of my yeah, greatest films, to be honest. I mean there is plenty more out yeah. there, but the one that comes to my mind at the moment would be Godfather. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can have the Godfather. And um this is the last one for this section. Um, apart from me, who was the last person to make you laugh? Uh, one of my work colleagues this morning. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. Excellent. Jay, thank you so much for doing that. Sorry, That's, sorry, we've, sorry. Been, we've been around the world with you and done <laughs> in a very short okay. period of time but thank you very much <laughs> yeah no i'm going to play one more game with you if that's okay this is not so yeah. challenging no um, no go on um i'm going to give you two options you have to choose one right okay fast paced instinctive are you ready yep tea or coffee tea radio or television radio Car or motorcycle? Car. Comedy or horror? Comedy. Concert hall or sports stadium? Concert hall. Cat or dog? Dog. T 
Test the water or jump in at the deep end? Jump in at the deep end. Love it. Orange <laughs> juice, bits on or, orange juice, bits or no bits? Bits, definitely. Mm. Library or museum? Museum. Beethoven or Mozart? Beethoven. Shower or bath? Well, I've got both of them. <laughs> Bath. Which do you prefer? <laughs> Bath. Bath. Not really. Cooking or being cooked for? Cooking, definitely. Oh, nice. Fiction or non-fiction? Fiction. Um, this will be easy for you. Reggae or salsa? I love both of them, but salsa will probably top it today. <laughs> Do love reggae though. Indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Android or iPhone? Android, hundred percent. Start immediately or wait until the last minute? Uh, start immediately. We're different. <laughs> We're very different. It's science or history? History. New York or Los Angeles? Oh. God, Los Angeles. Um, circle or square? Circle. Messy desk or tidy desk? Tidy desk. Um, red or white wine or neither? Uh, neither. Batman or Superman? Batman. Numbers or words? Oh, God, depends on what kind of content. I don't know. Um, numbers. Okay. Um, just two more. North or South London? North London, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, see the future or change the past? See the future. Excellent. Love that. Can't change the past. No, see the future. Yeah, uh, got, that's gone. It, see the future and you've got next week's lottery numbers. <laughs> Let, oh, chance in a million. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jay. And um, thank you for right. being one of our full members. Very much appreciate your support no for our, our gang. We're growing nicely. And um, wherever this appears, uh, there'll be links to various ways of connecting with you and learning more about Good. the work that you do. Um, don't rush off, but for the time being, thanks very much for joining me for day, today and for, for being a good sport. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you very much for putting me on the spot on the certain questions, but loved it. <laughs> to be part of it. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>